Hello, today is December 9th, 2017. My last call said I looked for a gap outside of Thursday's range, which we got. We get to cross this target from December 5th off the list, and the target of 2637.94 was satisfied also. We still have a higher target from December 4th, an optional target from the 6th. We have a target 2632.19 from December 7th, and time for that runs out early Monday, and there is a new ultimate target just over today's closing price from Friday's trade. I think once again, Monday, because of conflicting signals, we're likely to get a gap and a quick move outside of Friday's range. And what happens in the early trade, I think, will determine what happens throughout the rest of the day. I'm looking for a pattern with an early low, after usually about after an hour or so, that rallies into the close and has a high near the close. It doesn't have to be an all-day rally, but I'm hoping to see an early low and a late high, and usually there's an all-day rally. So if you are going to have a drop, it should be early in the day. Well, let's go over <coughs> what's um, positive about this pattern and what's not so positive. What's positive is you have an all-day rally on the Friday. Almost always that carries through into Monday's trade. It's also positive that this pattern almost always closes at the day's high. If it doesn't close there, you'll usually see it when the next day opens. And the fact that there is a higher target, even though there's no time limit on it, all suggests that we're going to gap over these highs. This is what happened during the day <coughs> at the low MJT said ultimately higher prices <coughs> would print, which they did. In the afternoon, we got a sell and a buy in the same pattern. That typically leads to wishy-washy trade with the market not going very far in either direction. That's just what happened. The drop was said to be false. The lower targets were hit. We're awfully close to the upper one, but there's no tolerance on the targets for ultimate signals, and we still need to get this. Now, the 2630.04 target from Thursday was optional, and since that didn't print, we just forget about it. But we still have a 2632.13 target most likely to print by early Monday. Well, what's not so good about the pattern? You rallied all day, couldn't go over these highs, and all you do is to bang on the lows of the prior consolidation, which is a potential top. You also have a lower MJT target here. <clears throat> so let's go over the possibilities. One possibility is that we gap up over this high and then reverse sharply. If that were to happen, here's your target, 2632.13. After an early drop, you might have a rally throughout the day, but gapping up and promptly undercutting these lows targets this level here by early in the day. Gapping up strongly probably puts this out of reach and if with a, with a strong gap up and no quick reversal, I think odds favor rallying throughout the day. The other possibility is we gap under these lows. That's not impossible. <clears throat> I don't like the fact that we have a wall into the close all day long. <clears throat> the market was in the pattern, which tends to rally overtake this high. Couldn't do it. As soon as liquidity dries up, <clears throat> the market rallies like this. And I really don't like the fact that not only was there a wall into the close, 
But after the close, <coughs> futures prices satisfied this target. So there was a rally into resistance uh, spurred by people who were not professional traders, who aren't going to wait till the end of the day Friday to make their move. So we have a strong rally at the end of the day into a strong resistance area. Three possibilities for Monday. One is we gap up slightly. I would look for a quick reversal. And if it undercuts this low, we have much lower targets. Next is a strong gap up at the open, which is what the bulls need. I think that this will be out of reach and we keep rallying. And the other possibility, not impossible, is we gap and promptly undercut these lows. If, if we gap up and undercut these lows or gap down and undercut these lows, it doesn't make a difference. You just have to have a gap in either direction to undercut the low. <clears throat> um, the early trade, I think, is going to tell where we're going to be. And uh, if we can't break through resistance here, there could be a significant drop in the first hour. If there isn't, I think we go higher. If there is, this could mark the end of the recovery. And that's today's call. <laughs>